We're going to start up on some beef jerky. Go in and got me some uh, beef round sirloin tips. Uh, you can use any beef. Uh, make sure you get it where it's not real fatty. And uh, they had this on special at Kroger's. And uh, I'm going to slice them up. You know, about an eighth of an inch, quarter inch, the thinner. I like them thinner the better. Uh, you can see that's a, that's about a half inch. So I'm going to still probably get three out of this. Uh, at least try to, if not two. And then once I get them cut up, we'll uh, uh, marinate them, get them ready. All right, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, we I went ahead and uh, cut them all up. Uh, some of them quarter inch, some of it's uh, eighth of an inch. Uh, depending your preference, uh, I like them thin, but on this one, since it was uh, already pre-cut, I didn't have a choice in the matter. But if you go buy a roast or something, uh, with you know, try not to get so much fat in it. Uh, as you can see, I cut out most of the fat. You know, it was pretty lean, and. Uh, so yeah, basically that's what you're trying to get to it. The thinner the better, the quicker it'll it'll uh, smoke and be ready for jerky. Uh, I use different kinds of spices. Uh, I separate it into three bags, uh, basically Ziploc bags. Uh, make different flavors, whatever you want. Uh, I made me a homemade rub, a little bit of uh, uh, chili powder, uh, cayenne pepper. Uh, onions, powder, garlic, you know, hey, you can make it any way you want. Uh, like I said, it's just a rub. So, uh, what we're going to do is just basically, you know, pull your bag out. You know, this one's going to be mine, so it's going to be a little spicy, so I want to make sure, you know, I get, you know, a good amount in there. You can do it individually, or you can just throw it in there, move it around, because I like mine real coated with spices. I want to, you know, be able to taste the flavor in it. Uh, some people like to do it individually. It's, you know, it's like anything else that you uh, put your rub in, put in your brisket, you know, the turkey, you know, whatever flavor you want. You know, that's what you basically going to get out of it. So, uh, okay, we'll do that one there. And then uh, on another one, I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, what is this uh, steak seasoning. You know, I'm going to marinate a little bit in that. Uh, some teriyaki. I'm going to do another one like that. And uh, so we're just going to split them up. Different little bags, different flavors. And uh, I'll get back to you when uh, we get ready to put it on the smoker. Well, here we go. There we got that uh, nice and marinated in there. Got, I was able to get four out of it. I did one with another little spice rub. We're going to let that set overnight. This one has uh, the, that uh, steak uh, marinade. Put a little black pepper in there, all the good stuff. And this was a teriyaki. So we're just going to leave them in there. Uh, marinate overnight, you know. You can do it longer, you can do it shorter. Uh, I figure that about, you know, just uh, about maybe 8 to 12 hours, you know, depending on how flavorful you want it. I like the, the beef flavor in it, just, so I'll let mine set for about 12 hours. Uh, and then uh, that's going to be it. Uh, I'll put it in the refrigerator. Uh, like I said, it should be, you know, this should be enough. That's probably the turkey right there, so. Okay. Thanks. Take a look at it. I got a basic uh, five burner grill. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, I removed all the racks from underneath. Uh, you know, there, I'm going to put the. I got a little smoker box. Uh, we're going to hang all the beef turkey right there. You know, and then put. I'm going to put a piece of uh, maybe some mesquite, and then I got some hickory chips. We're going to put on that side. And right now I'm just preheating a little bit, you know, just to get all the, you know, get some little smoke going in there. But uh, as it stands right now, just making sure, you know, bring up my temperature. 
we're going to try to keep it between 150 you know I would say no higher than you know 170 but uh, that's where we're at so uh, I went ahead and uh, hung the my little beef jerkies here and uh, Here's the what the marinade bags uh, skewers. That's what I used the wooden skewers. Uh, come look at it. I try to stay away as much as I you know where it was an indirect heat from this burner and then from this burner over here. Okay. Okay. So like I said, let's try to stay clear of this this burner and this burner over here, but. This is going to be the prime, the the main one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up, uh, get it smoking, and then we'll take a picture of that. Okay, all right. So here we go. 